hello hello everyone warm welcome back to the channel yaje here super excited to be sharing another gardening video with you today's video is going to be about the fluted pumpkin i am going to be sharing with you all the tips all the secrets all the lessons i have learned trying to figure out how to successfully grow ugu or the fluted pumpkin out here in the diaspora Growing ugu in Africa is something completely different from trying to grow the ugu out here in the diaspora. And let me tell you, I have had to learn the hard way. I am sharing everything I know about growing the ugu in one video from seed to harvest so that if you are interested in growing the ugu or the fluted pumpkin, you don't have to suffer the same way that I had to suffer because I had no place to go to find this information and I had to learn it in bits and pieces and by the time I learned about something I had already made a huge mistake and I had to wait for the following season so I'm hoping that by putting all of this information in one place it helps you so by watching this video you're going to know what the fluted pumpkin is or the ugu you are going to know how to pick the seeds which seeds will germinate you're going to know how to start the ugu seeds indoors which is something that we have to do as africans living out here in the diaspora where we have different seasons we don't just have like a dry and a rainy season we have something known as winter which means that <laughs> nothing grows during the winter so you know we have to start our seeds indoors so i will share with you what i did to start my ugu seeds indoors we are going to talk about fertilization the fertilization schedule what to use to fertilize your ugu plants i am also going to share with you how to harvest your ugu how to trellis or stake the ugu and so on and so forth i really hope that you find a lot of value in this video interact with me in the comment section below if there's anything that was not clear any more questions that you have drop them as you watch the video thank you Talferia occidentalis is a tropical vine grown in West Africa both as a leafy vegetable and also for its edible seeds. Common names for this vegetable includes the fluted gourd, the fluted pumpkin, ugu and okongobong. It is a member of the Crocubita sea family and it is indigenous to southern Nigeria. Where to buy ugu seeds out here in the diaspora in the USA is extremely hard to find. If you Google where to buy ugu seeds, a few sites are going to pop up. The thing that you would notice is that they are very expensive. Once you get your ugu seeds, go ahead and press them like I am doing. And the reason why we do that is to see if the ugu seeds are still good, guys. Ugu seeds are recalcitrant seeds, meaning that the longer they stay, the lesser the chances of germination. Like the drier the seeds, the lesser the chances of germination. So once you press it, you apply pressure. If there is a give, it's probably not a good seed. If you press it and there is no give, it's very solid, then that seed will germinate, which is why I was doing that pressure test to figure out if the seeds are still good. Keep in mind, ugu seeds are recalcitrant seeds. So once you get your seeds, go ahead and plant them right away because you cannot store the seeds. They will dry up and they will not germinate. You cannot put them in the freezer. They will die. Planting ugu seeds out here in the diaspora is a little different from planting ugu seeds back home in its natural tropical environment. That is because out here, we have the fall and the winter, which is very cold. And a lot of these tropical vegetables do not grow, do not do well in the fall and winter, which means that we only have spring and summer to grow our vegetables. That is a very short time to grow vegetables. So most of us often have to start our seeds indoors. And then when it is warm enough outside, we bring our already germinated plants outside that way we can 
you know, take advantage and have a longer time period to grow our vegetables. So we have to start the ugu seeds indoors. And you will see my setup here. I'm using just cups, Dixie cups with holes at the bottom. And the soil is potting mix soil. You want to use soil that is not from your garden because then you bring bugs inside. So go ahead and just buy something that is already sterilized. And also keep in mind that there is a planting orientation for ugu seeds. It has that pointy tip which has to face down. If you're not sure which side is that pointy tip, lay it flat. The pointy tip, that's where the roots come out of and then the flat base, the shoots come out of that flat base. So if you reverse it, your plant is going to struggle to germinate. This is my grow room. This is where I am germinating all of the ugu. Yes, what you see in all of the red cups here and here and these brown containers over there are ugu seeds um, that I am trying to germinate. This room is temperature controlled. I use a space heater. I have a thermometer in here, keeping the temperature at least at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once the ugu germinates, I take it out of this room and I will show you what I do next with it. I am so excited right now, you guys. Look, this is ugu ookomabong. This one I planted on the 8th of March and today is March the 19th. So germination in 11 days. I have this tree sitting on a heat mat and grow light and I had germination in 11 days using a heat mat. The other ones are still here looking at me. Nothing yet. So heat mat and temperature in this room right now is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see. Updates. This is the first ogo that germinated. This one germinated on the 19th of March. So that was 11 days. And this one germinated on the 20th. So it took 12 days, I have two in this bigger container. And this one also germinated on the 20th. And this one just germinated last night. So, so far I have a total of five that have germinated. And once they germinate, I move them to this window so they can get some sunlight. So you wanna bring your ugu to where it can get some sunlight, some filtered sunlight through a window so that the leaves can start to photosynthesize and turn green. Please do not take your ugu outdoors just yet. We have to do that very carefully via a process known as hardening off. This is something that I learned the hard way. So please pay attention to the next step, which is hardening off your ugu plants the right way if you don't do it the right way you might just end up killing your ugu plants this was the first ugu that germinated it has not seen the outdoors and so if i just take it and put it in the garden as is it might not survive because the temperature in here indoors is different from the temperature outdoors the amount of sunlight it is getting from this window is different from the amount of sunlight both in the intensity of the sunlight and the fact that in here the uv rays it is receiving is very reduced plus indoors your starts including ugu seeds don't um, get wind right so when you take it outside you get wind you get um, UV rays and you get more intense heat. So if we just take it one day and then put it in the ground outdoors, chances are it might not make it. So we have to do it gradually. So hardening off is just that process of safely transitioning your indoor starts to outdoor plants. And this is a crucial step with growing ugu out here in the diaspora. 
this process needs to take place over a period of time, at least one week, and it is done very elements. gradually. That is UV rays, sunlight, and then some wind. So I need to be very gentle with them. That is why it is sitting in a shaded area. I'm going to leave it out here for today for only half an hour. I'm not taking any chances. So it's sitting in the shade for 30 minutes and then I'll take them back indoors. Tomorrow, I will bring them out again for one hour and see how they do. And then I keep increasing the time until I can leave them outdoors completely when they have completely like hardened off. This is day two of hardening of my fluted pumpkins. Today I brought them right under the sun but it's in the evening it's around 5 p.m in the evening march the 24th i'm gonna leave them out here today for one hour take them back indoors and then tomorrow i will bring them out for two hours in the morning it's day six of the hardening process i've been leaving the fluted pumpkin outdoors now it's looking good as you can see it's looking very good but this area is semi shaded it's not completely exposed to the sun but at this point I think my ugu is safe to go in the garden directly in the garden in ground it is fully hardened off in my opinion so it took about it took about seven days and that's uh, also because the weather down here has been consistently like warm in the upper 50s at night in the 70s and maybe 80s during the day the next step will be to plant the fluted pumpkin in ground or in containers i prefer planting them in ground based on my experience yes they can grow in containers but they do not last as long plus in the summer you will really have to keep up with watering <laughs> and if you don't do that they will die so plant them in ground if you can so what i'm doing is i am planting the ugu along the fence closest to the fence i'm gonna have a second row right here so that's the first row second row and i am spacing the plants 40 centimeters apart so this stick is exactly 40 centimeters i measured it so 40 centimeters before transplanting your ugu you want to prep the soil for planting and we do that by adding well composted chicken manure i'm going to emphasize well composted chicken or poultry manure that is because chicken manure has a high level of nitrogen higher nitrogen compared to like cow dung and the ugu plant needs that nitrogen it really needs a lot of nitrogen that's what's responsible for that deep forest green color so if you give it a lot of nitrogen your ugu plants are going to do well try to stay away from miracle grow miracle grow does not do well with the ugu plants now what should you expect after transplanting today is april the second it's been one day since i transplanted the fluted pumpkin this one here this one wants to wilt a little so this is how it's looking one day after transplant today is april the 4th i transplanted these fruited pumpkins in ground on the 2nd of april they were all at different stages in their germination journey i think they are taken off quite nicely so these ones over here were a little further along the leaves are not as green as i want them to but they have a lot of chicken manure or poultry manure and so i am expecting significant changes in the next couple of days these ones were barely coming off coming up they were all planted on the same day but look they're all in different stages of 
their growth journey. The green color is beginning to come up. That dense forest green type of color. That's what we're looking for for healthy ugu. And I will keep you posted. April the 4th. It's been exactly one week since I transplanted the fluted pumpkin in ground over here. So I'm just here checking out how they are doing. Even though most of these seeds were planted on the same day, as you can see, they are all in different stages of <laughs> growth somehow. Some are bigger than others. So this is what we have. These ones were barely germinating when I transplanted them, but I went ahead and put them in ground anyway because I was not going to have time to do it later. Plus, it's kind of getting warm in zone nine, even though today is a little bit chilly. So what I'm going to do today is apply um, fertilizer in the form of manure. And so we are going to talk about when to fertilize, how to fertilize, what to use, and so on and so forth. So how to fertilize the fluted pumpkin on, or ugu. So this is my manure tea. I'm going to show you how I made this manure tea or manure brew. And I am applying it to my ugu plant like this directly to the base of the plant. I have a video on how I made this poultry manure tea. I'm going to link up to it in the description box if you would like to check it out. But this is extremely beneficial for the young ugu plants. The young ugu plants love, love, love the poultry manure tea. So if you're growing ugu, try to make some and apply to your young, your younger plants. Now, the other type of um, fertilization would be to just top dress your ugu plants with the poultry manure. So you're gonna apply the composted poultry manure around the base about 10 centimeters out from the vine apply it on top around the base and then you can fertilize like you know bi-weekly it just depends on on the soil that you originally started with i mentioned in the beginning that the fluted pumpkin is a vine which means that you have to give it support if you don't give it support, it's going to crawl. If it finds something, it's going to latch onto and then climb. And we want to give it that support so that it can climb because when it's crawling, you know, it can, it can get attacked by pests, by disease, and plus it's just dirty. Back home in Africa, it is super easy to find tree branches to use to stake your ugu with. But out here, you cannot just go out there and be cutting trees just to stake your ugu with. Now, you can go to a local hard, is it a hardware store to find trailer structures. But I'm telling you, I went there and it was so expensive. So I decided to just think outside of the box and use what I had laying around, which were these pipes that I had rescued from a neighbor's yard. The point here being think outside of the box, see how you can stake or trellis your ugu without having to spend a lot of money. Growing ugu does not come without its challenges. Yellowing leaves is issue number one that I am experiencing. As you can see, this ugu plant right here, this fluted pumpkin plant, the leaves should not be this color. They should be this type of green. All of the ugu plants here have been receiving the same treatment, but for some reason, this one wants to be like this. I am not sure why. It has the same amount of chicken manure and everything as the other ugu plants. As you can see, those ones are green, but this one is not. I'm not so concerned about this leaf. It's just an old leaf, but these are all yellow. You know, so I'm not sure what to do. I've talked to my ugu expert and I've been told to off root and check for root ball disease or anything, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. 
so what i'm going to do and please let me know how you would deal with this what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut i'm going to cut up this leaf down here should not do that okay i'm just going to cut up this leaf just in case it's disease i'm not sure it is disease but i'm going to cut that leaf off and then what i will do is i'm going to spray this this is a solution of epsom salt so epsom salt is supposed to correct yellowing leaves when caused by magnesium and sulfur deficiency so if there's a magnesium deficiency the leaves will not be able to absorb nitrogen so i am going to try this i prepared a, a spray following the directions on the bag this is a solution of epsom salt and water i'm just going to spray the leaves this is foliar spraying and then see if anything changes but let me know how you would deal with this if you've experienced this before and what you did to treat it let's just do the foliar spray i'm gonna spray this one too because why not these ones are all not as green as i would love them to be let's do the magnesium spray and see if anything changes and that one as well it's supposed to be more green than that okay it is a good idea to have neem oil and to use it on your ugu plants to prevent disease so just spray it regularly with neem oil and it is going to help prevent a bunch of diseases this is a good practice something i will highly highly recommend that you do if you want to grow disease free ugu or the fluted pumpkin our ugu is almost ready for harvesting when do you harvest the ugu and how do you harvest the ugu that is what we are going to talk about next they are about i want to say six weeks old since germination since germination these are about averagely six weeks old and they are more than ready for harvesting so yeah, you want to harvest your ugu six to eight weeks after germination, not like when you planted the seeds. So it could take two to three weeks for the ugu seeds to germinate. So after they germinate, six to eight weeks later, your ugu plants will be ready for the first harvest. And you harvest the fluted pumpkin by cutting the vine. Don't just pick the leaves. You cut the vine. You count a couple of leaves from the base maybe 10 to 15 leaves and then you snip the vine with a sharp object such as a knife or gardening shears cut the vine of the ugu don't just cut the leaves the reason why we want to cut the vine is so that we can promote the formation of side shoots side branches so we can get a lot of ugu plants if you don't cut the vine it's just going to be vertical growth and you will not get a lot of branches so once more cut the vine of your ugu plants when you are harvesting and those are all the tips those are all the secrets that i have gathered trying to figure out this vegetable in my backyard here in houston texas zone 9a if you follow what i have shared with you you are going to successfully grow the ugu and grow tons and tons of it guys if this video has added some value to you please give it a thumbs up please share the video please subscribe to the channel and also please interact with me in the comment section below